some CNY schools announce early dismissals and closings, Wednesday, March 7. Some schools have announced closings and early dismissals. Our information comes from email and text alerts, tweets and news reports. We'll continue to update the list as it changes. The following information reflects the most current list. Syracuse, New York, the Syracuse City School Board wants to hear from the public about a controversial proposal to replace Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Day on the district's calendar. Last fall the board shelved a resolution to change the holiday after getting some complaints from people opposed to the idea. The board is inviting the public to comment on the proposal at a community engagement forum. 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Monday at Westside Academy at Blodgett Middle School, 312 Oswego Street. The resolution the board tabled said it wanted to replace Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Day to combat prejudice and eliminate discrimination stemming from colonization and to promote awareness, understanding, and good relations among Indigenous peoples and all other stakeholders of the district. A growing number of cities and school districts nationwide are erasing Columbus Day from their calendars and replacing it with Indigenous Peoples Day. Native American groups say Columbus Day embraces colonialism and honors a man who is responsible for genocide of people. Many Italian Americans see the move to scrap Columbus Day as a slap at their ethnic heritage. West Virginia leaders reach deal to end teachers' strike. Charleston, WVA, AP, West Virginia lawmakers acted swiftly Tuesday after Gov. Jim Justice and Republican leaders tentatively agreed to end the state's nine-day teachers' Walk out by giving 5% raises not just to teachers but to all state workers. I believe in you and I love our kids. Justice told teachers after the agreement was announced. He planned a news conference later Tuesday. With striking teachers cheering from the gallery. The House of Delegates subsequently passed the pay raise for teachers. School service personnel and state troopers on a 99-0 vote. The Senate followed, voting 34 to 0. The governor, union leaders and the House had agreed to the raise for those groups last week. State teachers are among the lowest paid in the nation and haven't had a salary increase in four years. But the Senate refused to go along, approving a 4% increase Saturday. The six-member conference committee then agreed to the 5% figure Tuesday and for more than just teachers. Senate Finance Chairman Craig Blair said to pay for the raises. Lawmakers will seek to cut state spending by $20 million, taking funds from general government services and Medicaid. Other state workers who also would get 5% raises under the deal will have to wait for a budget bill to pass.